This is the Cholo News Report for Thursday 10, January, 2019. After several delays, the Congolese Election Commission announces that Felix Chisakedi is the winner of the December 30th presidential election. The result sets the stage for Congo's first democratic transfer of power, but also a tense political standoff with the potential for the kind of violence that followed polls in 2006 and 2011, whose outcome was contested. Vote tallies by Congo's Catholic Church showed second-place opposition candidate Martin Fayou as victor, according to two diplomats briefed on the findings. Shizukedi won with 38.57% of more than 18 million ballots cast. Cornel Nangaya, the president of the election commission that seemed timed to avoid any immediate reaction in the streets. Five British soldiers are killed in a rocket attack by ISIL in Syria. Rockets launched by IS hit the village of Orshayofa in the Abu Kamal district of Deir Ezzah province, the Syrian newspaper al Watan reported on Wednesday. The British soldiers were part of an international coalition operating in the area, which is the portion of Euphrates River Valley near the Iraqi border where the militants still hold territory. On Sunday, two soldiers were reportedly injured and one member of the western booked Syrian Democratic forces was killed in an IS rocket attack. Diplomatic offices in Melbourne, Australia, are evacuated after suspicious packages were found. Domestic media reported more than a dozen foreign offices received the packages and that some staff said they contained asbestos, a material used in building that can cause cancers and other health problems. It said the packages were sent to consulates in Melbourne and embassies in Canberra but did not provide a total number of affected sites or identify any of them. Other consulates in Melbourne reported by media to have received suspicious packages included those representing Greece, Italy, Spain, Thailand, India, Japan, Pakistan, Egypt, Denmark and Switzerland. Former Israeli minister Golan Sejav pleads guilty to spying for Iran in exchange for an 11-year prison sentence. Investigators found that Sejav made contact with officials at the Iranian embassy in Nigeria in 2012 and that he visited Iran twice for meetings with his handlers, the Shin Bet said. Israel has long been locked in a shadow war with Iran, which supports Islamist guerrillas in the Gaza Strip and Lebanon. Iran has accused Israel of being behind acts of sabotage and assassinations of scientists involved in its nuclear program. German prosecutors say, based on images, that most of AFP politician Frank Magnet's injuries yesterday may have been sustained as he hit the ground after having been elbowed once by three people and falling over. Magnet says the attack may have been an attempted robbery. Frank Magnet, a member of the Bundestag from the Farite Alternative for Germany, had said that he was brutally attacked by political opponents in his home base of Bremen. On Tuesday, the lawmaker spent most of the day talking to the press, inviting journalists to his sick bed to see the wounds on his face, covered with thick layers of gauze, and drawing their attention to the wheelchair he was using in hospital.